somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at Gaston's house. Gaston is lost. <laughs> Gaston, are you in? <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Gaston's taking a while. Yes. Where is he? Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny Plum. Ben! Home time! And that's my mum. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let's play with Gaston. Yes. yes. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? Gaston. Gaston? Good morning, children. Has anyone seen Gaston today? No. Has anyone seen Gaston? No. no. Has anyone seen the ladybug? No. no. Gaston is lost. Nanny. 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 Have you seen Gaston? Gaston? No. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him at all today. He usually comes in for his breakfast first thing in the morning. But he hasn't touched his food. Gaston is lost. Don't worry, Holly. We can find Gaston by looking in a crystal ball. Let's use this one. It's a snow globe. With a little Eiffel Tower inside. Yes, pretty, isn't it? There you go. Paris in the snow. It's almost like you're there. But how can a snow globe find Gaston? Ah, that's where we need a little magic. The snow is clearing. Ooh. That's Gaston's house. There's Gaston. The crystal ball is showing us what Gaston did yesterday. And then we can work out where he is. Very clever, Nanny. Not just a pretty face, eh? Where's he going? That's me, feeding Gaston yesterday. Good morning, Gaston. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> Hungry boy. Where would you be without me to feed you? Now where's he going? He's at the fairy village. Morning, Gaston. That's my mum. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> He's had two breakfasts. I thought it was just me who fed him. Bye, Gaston. He's off again. He's at the great elf tree. And that's the wise old elf. Ah, Gaston, I haven't forgotten you. Here's your breakfast. I don't believe it. That's another breakfast. Oh, Gaston's off again. He can't eat any more breakfasts. Look, he's at the playgroup. And that's Mrs Fotheringill. Here's your porridge, Susan. Susan? Good girl, Susan. By my reckoning, that's four breakfasts. I think Gaston needs lots of food because he does lots of running about. <sighs> Surprised after all that eating. <laughs> Look, it's us. Yes, we played with Gaston yesterday. Gaston, are you in? 
Do you want to play? <laughs> Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. We know this bit. Can you skip past it? OK, I'll fast forward. <laughs> Gaston has vanished. Let's watch that again. Stop! There he is. Forward a bit. Oh, he's disappeared. Back a bit. Forward. Gone. He jumps behind those clovers and disappears. So that's where he must be. Come on, we have to find him. Let's get the others to help. Why is old elf? Why is old elf? Gaston needs rescuing! You found him? Not exactly, but we know where he was before he disappeared. This is where Gaston was last seen. And then he vanished behind some clovers. Which clovers? There are lots here. We'll have to search all of them. Gaston? Gaston! Where are you, Gaston? This is crazy. How can anyone just disappear into thin air? Ah! Oh, where's my mum gone? Help! Help! Mum, where are you? Here! Uh, I can't see you. Are you invisible? No! Look down! Gosh, a hole in the ground. I can't see a thing. Wand, give me light. It's a huge cave. Ooh! It's full of sparkly diamonds and gems. Ah, looks like we've found a bit of the old dwarf mine. Yes, the little kingdom is riddled with dwarf tunnels. Those dwarfs certainly like to dig. Help! Help! Mum! Hello, everyone. I found Gaston. <laughs> Gaston! Come on, everyone. We've got a ladybird to rescue. Uh, what about me? Oh, yes. Sorry, Mum. I forgot about you. Charming. Let's climb down. It's a good thing I brought the elf rescue rope. Here we come. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Well, Gaston! <laughs> Gaston must be so hungry. <laughs> I can hear voices. Someone's coming. Hide, everyone. In our dwarf mine, oh so old. We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. <gasps> it's the dwarves. Dinner time. Good boy. When you finish that, there's pudding. I don't believe it. Gaston's only been here a day and he's already got people feeding him. Right, lads. Back to work. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Lucky the dwarves didn't spot us. They don't like strangers in their minds. Yes, that's why I took the precaution of hiding the elf rope. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here, how are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries, we'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Oh, OK. I'll magic the rope to the top. Ooh. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Wise old elf, aren't you climbing up? I am not climbing up a magic rope. See yourself. You can live down there forever. OK, OK. I'll climb up the magic rope. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. 
what are you doing here? I came as quick as I could when I heard Susan was in trouble. Susan? Who's Susan? Susan the ladybug. <coughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Gaston. <coughs> he won't answer if you call him Susan. Susan, I've brought you something to eat. <coughs> Poor Susan. Who would look after you if I didn't, hmm? I've got a feeling Susan would manage just fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's round and he's red with big black spots. He's Gaston the Ladybug. 